Beetlejuice. The red star located on the shoulder of Orion's warrior has exhibited peculiar behavior, which has generated great anticipation for witnessing a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Some suggest that the increase in brightness could be indicative of a star approaching its supernova, but when exactly will this occur? Experts speculate that it could be in the near future. Join us as we examine the current status of this star. If you're interested in keeping up to date on news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel and be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Although you may not be on a first name basis, it's likely that you have seen the magnificent Betelgeuse. A glowing reddish dot shines brightly in the constellation Orion. At present, Betelgeuse is extremely massive. In fact, if we were to place it at the heart of our own solar system, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. This colossal and easily observable star continues to fascinate us. Betelgeuse changes before our eyes because of its relative closeness to our galaxy. It is a semi-regular variable star, meaning that its brightness fluctuates, sometimes dramatically, as it moves towards its imminent final collapse in the form of a supernova explosion. In recent years, Betelgeuse has become even more interesting due to unexpected fluctuations in its brightness, which we still find puzzling. Although its behavior in its unknown territory has been strange, its recent behavior is attributed to a phenomenon known as the Great Dimming, which occurred between 2019 and 2020. Due to this event, the closest red supergiant star to Earth is shining twice as bright as usual, illuminating the sky in the early evening hours in the southern hemisphere. This strange behavior of one of the brightest stars in the sky provides scientists with an unprecedented view, as Betelgeuse rapidly transitions from a bright to a dim state of brightness. In recent times, Betelgeuse has sometimes shown an increase in brightness of more than 50%. However, on May 20th, 2023, the Twitter account called Beetlebots dedicated to tracking Betelgeuse using information from the American Variable Star Observing Association, reported something strange, an impressive 142% brightness increase. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree of Harvard's Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics notes that Betelgeuse currently ranks as the seventh brightest star in the night sky, moving up three positions from its usual position of 10th. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you can easily see Betelgeuse shining at dusk. You just have to look for it on the shoulder of the constellation Orion. Even in the Northern Hemisphere, Betelgeuse can be observed as the days get shorter. A technology researcher from Swinburne, Australia points out that one of the most fascinating things about Betelgeuse is that it allows us to witness the final stages of a giant star's life in great detail something that has not previously been possible to study in such detail. By observing the behavior of Betelgeuse, we can gain important information about what happens to red giants before they become supernovae. It is speculated that Betelgeuse could become incredibly bright for a week, even during the day, and could cast shadows in the darkness of night. This phenomenon has captured the attention of amateur astronomers and professional astronomers alike. At some point, Betelgeuse will explode and end its life in a stunning supernova. Given that we are 650 light years away, we will have the opportunity to witness this amazing cosmic explosion in the best possible way. Heidi Morris, a scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory and president of the Astronomy Club, says that people are really fascinated by Betelgeuse and have been watching these brightness changes for a long time. Astronomers have long known that Betelgeuse experiences periods of intensity and then fades again. Even ancient Australian Aboriginal and Greek cultures noticed this pattern thousands of years ago. Normally, Betelgeuse's brightness cycle lasts about 400 days, but right now, its brightness is changing much faster, about every 130 days, as observed by Andrea Dupree, who has studied this star. 
This unusual behavior began in 2019 after Betelgeuse ejected some of its outer atmosphere with force. These brightness changes are not typical for Betelgeuse. But does that mean that this star is on its way to exploding into a supernova? According to a paper written by Dupree and other scientists from Harvard and the University of California at Berkeley, it is estimated that it will be 5 to 10 years before Betelgeuse returns to its normal cycle. The author states that Betelgeuse has not been the same after experiencing the Great Dimming. Since then, it has shown different behavior in terms of luminosity and radial velocity. Betelgeuse still has a long way to go before it becomes a supernova. As a red giant star, it goes through a series of fusion processes involving different elements such as helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron. When a star becomes a red giant, the intense pressure in its core allows helium to fuse into carbon. The star then continues to fuse carbon and helium to form oxygen, and the cycle repeats, producing heavier elements such as iron and silicon. The progress of these fusion reactions will eventually lead to Betelgeuse collapsing under its own weight due to gravity. The end result could be the formation of a black hole or a neutron star. Based on analysis of the chemicals present in Betelgeuse's atmosphere, it appears that the star is currently in the early stage of this fusion process, specifically fusing helium into carbon in its core. Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant that has led a fast and intense life. It is currently in the final stages of its accelerated evolution. Eventually, when it exhausts its fuel, the core will collapse under its enormous mass, leading to an explosion that could eclipse entire galaxies. This supernova is bound to happen, but like all the others, we wonder when it will happen. There is much speculation about when Betelgeuse will finally explode into a supernova. However, experts have doubts. University of Portsmouth astronomy professor Peter Grauer, who specializes in the study of supernovae, has written a book on the subject and points out that we currently have no means of predicting when stars will explode. So we have no exact clue as to when Betelgeuse went supernova. It is understandable that this uncertainty is so high, since throughout human history, we have not witnessed many supernovae to study, despite the hopes of astronomers. Given this lack of certainty, we do not yet know if anyone in our lifetime will have the opportunity to witness the spectacular explosion of Betelgeuse. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video to reach more people, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our next videos.